I design with the mind of an explorer. A sketch is not worthy of getting out of the paper into a finished piece if there's not a bit of risk involved, if I don't really know exactly how it's gonna work, and if I don't think this piece can surprise me. I think observation and imagination are the qualities that I have. I can think since I was a child. I was always observing, I was always forming a visual perception of the world. If someone asks me where does my inspiration come from, I'm just like from a white piece of paper <laughs> and some pencils around me. And I envisioned how nice would it be if I had a job where I could use the hand drawing skills. And I got an opportunity, an interview at a jewelry workshop where I was around colored pencils, watercolors, colored gemstones. I got this childlike enthusiasm and fascination back. And I started having a point of view in jewelry that I still carry today, which is really take a distant point of view and see this as this incredible timeline of objects that record through visual our story, you know, our story as human beings. In the beginning, coming to London, my sudden perception of Brazilian culture from the outside, this foreign eye, heightened everything. I was looking for this sensuality and this attraction and also a part of Brazil. So I was bringing these things together with a personal mission to make it real. So I love to work with the Brazilian uh, goldsmiths and that community that I was trained with. But then I also was quite excited to embrace new technologies. We do a lot of 3D modeling and 3D printing here in the studio. I wasn't brought up in glamorous restaurants and looking how people got dressed. It was more about appreciating beauty in the natural state, looking at nature and being in awe of nature. And when I got in touch with jewelry, I found the same awe-inspiring feeling. What I really love is when it's on and what it does to someone wearing it. It brings everything to life.